Hey guys, it's Ashish from Guiding Tech and today I have a great video for everyone who uses Gboard on his Android device. Now, I used to use Swift KX for so many years, but then recently, I mean a few months back, I shifted to Gboard and while using it, I discovered so many amazing features that, I mean, they were like literally hidden there and you might not even know about them, but then they are super useful and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. So, well, let's find out how you can make your typing experience even better if you're a Gboard user. Let's get started. Okay, so the first trick here is pretty cool and it allows you to edit your text much faster. You can use the space bar on your keyboard to easily navigate the cursor around. Yep, that's right. Just tap and hold the space bar and slide your finger left or right and the cursor will move accordingly. Honestly, I love this feature and this is one of the features that I think, I mean, it was introduced on iOS. iOS default keyboard has this feature for quite a long time now and it's great to see this feature coming to Android through Gboard. I mean, this is one of the best practices that you can take from another OS. Now moving on, let's talk about numbers and symbol. I mean, sometime if you want to type strings of number or too many symbols at the same time, it makes sense to switch the keyboard using, I mean, if you, for a number or a symbolic format. But then if you just want to insert one single digit or a symbol, then switching the keyboard doesn't seem the right thing to do, right? So what now? Well, now you can simply touch your finger to the question mark one, two, three key and then slide it upward across the keyboard and you can then select the number or the special character of your choice easily. Obviously, since this is your first time trying it, it might seem slow, but then once you get used to it, there's nothing like it. I mean, it can definitely boost your typing experience. Next, let's talk about deleting words. And here, most of you will say that we have a backspace button for that, right? I mean, if you want to delete some letters, tap it if you want to delete some words tap and hold it and it will like delete but then what if i tell you there is another intuitive way to delete letters and words using gestures yes so to do that head over to gboard settings and inside glide typing enable gesture delete now when you want to delete something simply tap and hold the delete key and then slide left the text in front of you will also start getting highlighted once you are done highlighting the text you want just lift your finger up and it will be deleted quite nifty right now moving on the next feature to talk about is my personal favorite that is 100 mode now some of you might know this feature but if you don't let me tell you this is a boon for today's smartphone industry i mean the screens are getting so big and if you want to type using one hand with that particular big keyboard it's really next to impossible and let's suppose you are you are sipping a coffee and you want to type an email what now the 100 mode will come to your rescue. So to enable it, hold down the enter key or the comma key and then tap on the icon here. Corresponding to the key you pressed, your keyboard will shrink down in that direction. Now you can easily use this with one hand without any issues. And if you want to switch back to the full experience, just tap on the icon right here. And the last one in the list is my personal favorite. And this is one feature I have asked Warren to use. I mean, Warren uses so many lingos. I mean, he's younger than me and he like BRB. I mean, I know BRB like BR, uh, like B right back, but he's like GG, great game. Uh, GD, WP, great game, well played. And I always ask him, please, please, when you text me, please don't use this jargons or lingos. And what he has done is he has made a, a setting, I mean, using which you can automatically expand these lingos works for me so let me show you how it works when i want to share my email with someone i just type ashish and it shows my full email id or for my office address i can just type offadd and then tap here and it will type out my entire office address pretty cool right so let's see how to set it up well to do that head over to gboard settings and tap on dictionary here tap on personal dictionary followed by the language of your choice. Now tap on the plus icon here. First, enter the text you'd like to appear. For example, in my case, it was the address. And then the shortcut part, enter your trigger keyboard, which was OFFADD here. And that's it. Now, whenever I type that particular short phrase, it 
gets automatically, I mean, I'm getting automatic suggestions to insert my full address. So, well, that's about it. And those were, I mean, there are so many tricks for Gboard, but then these five, I'm sure that most of you might not know about, but they really boost that typing experience on Android. If you want to recommend some of your personal favorite with our audience, please do that in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button right now as well. So, well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in our next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.